Hello there, this is a quick demonstration of how to use the composition engine. Uh, the first thing you should do is route the MIDI information from the three various modules to where you want it to go. I'm going to use the basic Mac synth for all three modules just for the purposes of this demonstration. But as you can see, you get two buses from Macs as well. And you can also route MIDI to the IAC bus, which is handy for playing instruments within uh, Ableton or another door. So, uh, it's a simple space bar to start and stop. Uh, these checkboxes need to be checked to hear the various modules, so let's go for the chords. The tempo can be changed up here by either dragging or highlighting the box and typing in, pressing enter. You can choose from all 24 traditional western scales. Let's just go back to C. The chord generator you can play in four different rhythms. This is on one end at the minute, which is one new chord for every bar. Two is twice as fast. Well, it's not twice as fast, but twice as many chords played within a bar. Four is every quarter note. Eight ends every eighth note. This option allows you to play along with the melody rhythm, which I'll demonstrate shortly. This extra note feature involves an additional note being added to each chord. Um, what's happening in the chord progression is that all seven chords within a key are produced, uh, but they're just produced at random by the engine, so it's it's cycling round as it as it sees fit. Um, but they're all just standard three note chords. This little module adds an extra note to each chord, but you have the option for that extra note to stay the same over a cycle of chords or to move with it. Uh, as as a default it moves with the chords but uh, I'll just activate this extra note stay function so you can hear what it sounds like. So that's quite nice in some situations just put it back to move. Uh, incidentally if you change key it'll automatically set back to extra note move so you're not going to have any uh, nasty extra notes hanging around when they're, when they're not supposed to be in your new key. Uh, there's a little looping module for the, the chord st structure so you can record a portion. Just go back to the real time generated chords. The melody module, again, you click here to switch it on. There's a delay function with four different rhythms. And the option to just switch it off. There's the same recording module as there is for the chord module uh, for the melody. You can you can do exactly the same thing, so I won't demonstrate that again. But this auto looper is a little bit more interesting. Uh, when this auto looper is activated, uh, you have the choice of recording either a one, two, or a four bar segment. Uh, recording begins when you press one of these three buttons and it immediately begins to loop once the duration uh, has elapsed, so after either one, two or four bars. Uh, so let's try a two bar loop and see what happens. I'll switch off the real time melody so you can just hear the loop. So 
So that's quite nice in certain situations. I'll just go back to the real-time generated melody. Uh, the harmony module adds an extra note uh, at the same rhythm and velocity as the melody. And you, the note can be either a lower or a higher note. Uh, in this box, you can choose between one for lower or two for higher, so let's just hear that. There's a slight delay on the harmony added as well. So that's a lower note, and two's a slightly higher note. There's also the option to automate this process, uh, whether this is a one or a two, by using video. Um, so I'll just open a video file to demonstrate that. So what this gives you is the option to base the decision whether this is a 1 or a 2 on the average colour content in each frame of video. As a default it's it's on red, so it's doing it on red now, but you can choose green or blue as well. Um, and what that does is simply turns the, the, the amount of colour into a 1 or a 2 um, in the background. Um, so this process is automated for you through video input and you can just leave it to do its thing. That's pretty much it. Uh, any questions, get in touch with me at the website address at the bottom here. And uh, enjoy yourself.